For the best view in St. Thomas, you've got to take the sky ride to Paradise Point. Mm. Come on with us and we're going to take you all the way to the top of Paradise Point and we're going to show you the food and the views. Yeah! If your ship docks at the downtown pier, the entrance to the Sky Ride is only a five minute walk away. If your ship docks at the Crown Bay Marina, then you'll need to take a taxi. You can purchase your tickets for the Sky Ride on your ship or at the Sky Ride itself. If you purchase your tickets at the Sky Ride itself, the tickets are $24.95 for adults and children ages 6 to 12 are $16.95 and children under the age of 6 ride for free. Once you purchase your tickets, you'll be given a wristband so that you can go up and down that mountain, ride it more than once because you can do it all day long. The tram ride takes about seven minutes from the bottom to the top. The cab holds about eight people and they do try their best to put your entire party in the same cab, if at all possible. The tram ride takes you up 700 foot up to the top of St. Thomas. We need to add a little disclosure here for people that have mobility issues. Yes, if you're going to go on the tram, you're going to need to be able to walk up two flights of stairs, long flights of stairs at that. There is no elevator, so you cannot get your scooter or wheelchair up to the tram. It is by staircase only. So if I'm at the bottom where you purchase your tickets, this is where the staircase leads you up to the boarding area. Those are the staircase that we are uh, discussing. There is no way to get to the boarding area of the tram except by stairs. Paradise Point is a perfect name for this area. From the highest point of Paradise Point, you are going to be able to take fabulous pictures of the harbor down below. And they say that on a clear day, you can see Puerto Rico and St. Croix. Mm. Once you've reached the top, it's a short walk by either stairs or ramps down to the shops and the restaurants. Typically, people spend from a half hour to an hour and a half up there. I think we're there a couple of hours because we're having a good time just looking over it that whole entire port. It is a postcard waiting for you to see. It's just breathtaking views. seating at the restaurant is terrace style where you can just see the beautiful harbor and all the scenery from your table. We chose to sit at a table in this terrace area and we thoroughly enjoyed the view the entire time that we were there. The restaurants and the gift shops at Paradise Point are reasonably priced. After all, the U.S. Virgin Islands are owned by the United States and American currency is the currency of the islands. That's right. So here is our review of the food that we had at the restaurant at Paradise Point. Okay, so we have queso dip, salsa, and hummus with chips, and to top it all off, a paradise. First of all, it's got some alcohol in it, I can tell you that. It tastes really, really good. 
That was the cheese. Superb. This is the hummus. The hummus is very nice. It's plain hummus, so it doesn't have any exotic flavors. It's straight up plain hummus. So if you like plain hummus, that's for you. The sauce has got a little bit of a kick. Not too much, not when the mouth's on fire, but just enough kick that you know it has something in it. Really good. All total, the chips and the drink, $32 without a tip or without tap. Paradise Rump Punch? Let me tell you what, I've got some alcohol now. <laughs> We're gonna try the salsa. Very good flavor. Queso, here's the queso. That's good. Hummus? Hummus. An absence of flavor. But the consistency of it, is outstanding. The island's signature drink is called a bushwhacker and it is particularly potent. <laughs> I would have to say so. So they have more than one cocktail but the bushwhacker it's coffee flavored rum cocktail. Okay <laughs> well we tried all three. Depending on the day that your cruise ship is at port you may be fortunate enough to have a local band playing local music for you while you have your lunch at the restaurant. Now, one thing that we do want to mention is you're going to have a great day out there at Paradise Point, but make sure that you are leaving Paradise Point in enough time to wait for the tram to take you down to the bottom and to walk back to your ship or the taxi ride if your ship did not dock at the downtown port. Yeah, you don't want to get caught there looking at that ship going, look at that beautiful ship sailing away. <laughs> uh oh, that's my ship. <laughs> Well, we hope that you've enjoyed this video on the sky ride in Paradise Point in St. Thomas. We also have some other videos about St. Thomas. We we'll ask that if you enjoyed this video, how about giving us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. It's good for the channel. It helps other people find us as well. And we would really love to have you as part of the Sea Leg Journey crew. Until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.